We want to help orangutans, but in a way that doesn't get all in their personal space. Luckily, they have an app for that. Marina can tell us more. I'm always looking for the newest tech innovation. Like last night, I ordered pizza from my phone. But sometimes the latest new app isn't being developed in Silicon Valley. It's being developed right here in a zoo in Colorado. This app can help anyone protect orangutan habitat with the press of a button. I'm meeting with the app's creator, Chelsea Wilmer, the Palm Oil and Conservation Programs Coordinator at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. I love my job. I think I have a really important job. I have a huge impact on the world, which I didn't ever think I would have as a child. I'm also really proud when I get to see the average everyday consumer really think about their impact on the world when they're buying products. I love that feeling of being able to help somebody help our planet. Today, Chelsea is gonna tell me how a zoo in the Colorado Rockies created a smartphone app that helps orangutans on the other side of the planet, all inspired by the orangutans under their own care. Tell me a little bit about what you do here. Accredited zoos and aquariums, we are conservation organizations. So my job is strictly dedicated to conservation, also connecting the public, the guests who come here to our conservation work. I educate consumers on what is palm oil, I educate companies on their sustainable sourcing, and I also help other zoos and aquariums with their own palm oil programs. Palm oil is an edible vegetable oil that comes from the oil palm tree. It's used in cosmetics, soap, all types of foods, and even in bioplastics like car seat cushions. And while grown across the tropics, around 90% of the world's oil palm trees are grown in Malaysia and Indonesia, which are also home to endangered species like the orangutan. Is palm oil inherently bad? Because I've heard some stuff like that. There is a difference between sustainable and unsustainable palm oil. In the past, it's been associated with tropical deforestation. So yeah. People cut down really beautiful habitat for animals like orangutans and elephants and tigers. The problem is though, that if we were to stop using it, we'd have to switch to some other type of oil like soy or canola or coconut. Those oils would require a lot more land, a lot more resources. If we were to use sustainable palm oil, it's the most environmentally friendly oil we have. Four to 10 times more productive than all the other options. These trees, they're producing these giant fruit bunches every oh. two weeks. So they're that productive. <laughs> That's so often. Yeah. What does sustainable palm oil mean exactly? Not cutting down the rainforest, not hurting the environment, not hurting the people in the industry. The round table on sustainable palm oil, the RSPO, they're setting the highest standards for sustainable palm oil and they're working with all parties across the supply chain to make sure that everyone's following the rules they set. There's really a million ways to go about reaching the public, but you chose an app, how come? Palm oil goes by over 600 different names and ingredients list. Whoa. It's not easy for the average person to memorize. And sometimes that name can just be something like vegetable oil. So because it's such a specialized field and takes so much information, we felt an app was the best way to kind of distill all of it down into these easy to understand ratings for these companies. So you're part of the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. How does that help your app? We're an environmental nonprofit. We're not one of the companies themselves. Mm. We're not part of that industry. So we kind of get to take this stepped back approach uh, that hopefully the public can trust more and understand that we're coming to this with the intention of protecting animals and wildlife. Chelsea gave me a quick tour to meet some of the creatures that inspire the zoo's mission to protect animals and their natural habitats, like an adorable two-toed sloth named Bosco, a stunning Nile hippopotamus named Zambezi, this weird little legless lizard whose name I did not catch, and of course, the orangutans. I mean, look at her, she's fabulous. Then Chelsea walked me through how the app works. Scanning a product shows you how it's rated on a color-coded scale from excellent to poor or even no commitment at all. Or you can put in a keyword like ice cream and it will bring up a list of products and their ratings. So it has the ice cream, it also even has the ice cream cones, it has the sprinkles and the, the hot fudge that you put on top of it, it oh, has wow. everything. So all oh. of these are companies are doing a great job. So I can basically switch out all the stuff that I use anyway mm -hmm. for more sustainable products. Yeah, absolutely. Chelsea, thank you so much for today. This was really fun. And I was so excited to learn that people have the power in their own hands to help protect orangutans in their habitat. Yes, I'm so proud of the impact that consumers are making and also the zoo is making in protecting these wildlife and wild places. Do you think the orangutans will be like very impressed with me because I'm using the app and how well I do it? We can go show them. Oh yes, the dream. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really.
I've seen this one over a hundred times.